Well, to say it's been a week in the Unity world is an understatement. If you haven't followed along with uh, current events, what Unity said, uh, what they appear to be, attempt be attempting to do, check YouTube, check uh, Twitter, check Reddit. It's all over the place. This video, this video is not going to rehash current events. I'm not here to uh, tell you what's going on. There's plenty of other content that's already done that. What I wanted to do instead is tell you where I'm at, where this channel is going to be moving forward, where my projects are going to be, what 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 the future of those are, considering uh, recent events. And for me, I, like a lot of us, uh, pretty disappointed, discouraged, frustrated, shocked um, at what Unity is say, what, what they've said, what they haven't said. Uh, what they appear to be trying to do. Um, there are a lot of content creators who have said they're done with Unity. Um, they're no longer making Unity content. There are a lot of studios who've said their next project is not going to be made with Unity. And even their current project is jumping ship and getting ported to a new engine. And I support all of those developers in their decisions. I 100% I hope that is the best decision for them, their companies, their families everybody that's involved in those decisions, because those are not easy decisions. Um, and I'm thinking about the future a lot. Um, this is the uh, start of year 12, I think, in working in Unity. Uh, I've published two games to Steam, and behind me here, I'm working on, on a third game. I've taught high school courses using Unity. I think I taught for four or five, maybe six years. Some of those students getting so excited about what Unity had to offer, what the game development world had to offer, that they've pursued professional careers in game development and are being successful. Um, in the last year and a half, I made the transition from a full-time classroom teacher to a full-time Unity developer and a self-taught Unity developer. So again, I'm heavily invested in Unity. Their success has led to my success. Um, but I've got to think about what the future looks like. Um, what we thought was stable uh, appears to not be stable. We've kind of seen the writing on the wall for the last couple of years, um, but these latest events really, really appeared to show the cards that Unity is holding and what they intend to do in the future. Um, I don't know what they can do to regain trust. I don't... Um, I think for many people, walking back the, the recent policy changes uh, is not sufficient, um, and we'll just have to see what that looks like. That said... I'm not somebody who tends to act on incomplete information unless I have to. And that's my view right now, is that what Unity has given us, and it's their fault, they have given us incomplete information. And frankly, I don't think they had all the information to give us, but they've certainly communicated incomplete information. And so for me, I'm not jumping ship yet. I'm staying with Unity, at least in the short term. Um, I've got a project here that I've spent a year on, maybe 18 months. Um, I don't have the bandwidth to learn a new engine and port that game. Um, I'm hoping this game is done in the next six months or 12 months. And frankly, it is very unlikely that their financial policies or financial uh, changes are going to uh, impact me. Um, that doesn't uh, impact my confidence in Unity. Um, but I, I can recognize that it's not going to impact me directly financially. Um, so I'm going to continue to work on this game in Unity, um, at least for the foreseeable future. If things get way worse, we'll reassess with each new bit of information. When I'm done with this project, yeah, I, I'm likely to I'm likely to reevaluate um, which game engine my next project is, is uh, worked in or uses. I guess is a better way to say that. Um, also, professionally, um, if Unity, if, if they have r fully shot themselves in the foot and Unity dies out over the next few years, professionally, I think it makes a lot of sense to have more experience in other engines. Um, whether Again, whether that's Unreal, whether that's Godot, uh, whether that's something else that pops up in between. Um, and so I guess for right now, I'm in a holding pattern. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for more information from Unity. Um, I'm waiting to see... Um, how this all plays out. Um, but for the time being, you're going to continue to see um, live streams of this game progress. Um, you're going to continue to see 
uh, tutorial videos based on my projects. If you haven't recognized that, most of the videos of the last year or two have come from projects that I'm working on. Um, whether that's an interesting system that I feel like is worth sharing, whether it's a tool that I think is worth sharing, or just some uh, reflection on the process. Um, you're going to continue to see videos uh, using Unity, talking about game development. Um, in fact, I have a video. It's been recorded. It's edited. It's uploaded. Just needs those last few finishing touches um, before it's ready to share with you guys. But I wanted to acknowledge what's going on, uh, where this channel is, um, and that this channel is reevaluating uh, what it's medium to long-term future is, whether that is switching uh, engines, sticking with Unity, whatever that might look like. Um, definitely, definitely thinking about that. Um, but at the same time, I'm not making rapid decisions based on incomplete information. Um, it's a tough situation. It's a tough situation. Um, and I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a long road for a lot of us um, over the next six to 18 months, I think it's going to be a long road for a lot of us um, trying to decide what our future holds. So anyways, that's really all I wanted to say with this video, where I'm at, you will continue to see videos. I am going to continue working on this game. You are going to continue to see live streams. Um, despite being pretty discouraged and pretty frustrated with what Unity is um, attempting to pull off. So with that, with those cheery, cheery words, um, best of luck with your decisions, um, what you do uh, as a developer, as a hobby developer, as professional developers. Um, wish you the absolute best. Love to hear your thoughts, comments. If you have something new to add to the conversation, uh, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, best of luck. Happy game developing. Um, I hope it works out for, for all of us.